Okay, we're going to take a look at uh, reading a tape measure or a ruler. So we'll take a peek here at uh, like I said, do, reading, reading anything that's marked uh, with inches. And the inches are marked with these little marks right here, which uh, are commonly thought of by students to be as this would be 0.1, and that would be 0.2, and that would be 0 0.3, 0 0.4. And that's just wrong. These are uh, actually eighths and that would be a quarter and that would be an eighth and so we're going to take a serious look at that so uh would like to point out one thing and that is that the little tiny marks that are between the zero here and the one or between the one and the two these are exactly identical with these marks here and the marks between the one and the two are exactly the same as the marks between the two and the three and are exactly between the marks of the four and the five they're all the same so you don't have to learn all of these you just have to learn these few right here and then you'll know how to deal with all of those between any two other whole numbers these tiny little marks are called fractions and uh, we'll take a look at their names uh, momentarily. And you're going to be dealing with halves, quarters, eighths, and sometimes even sixteenths. We'll even touch that in here a little bit. These marks, falling between the zero and the one, that happens to be the halfway mark. Between the one and the two, that happens to be the halfway mark. So you see, there are halfway marks between each number. It's half the distance there, or one-half inch. These marks happen to be the quarter inch marks, and between each of the two whole numbers, there's always a quarter mark. They're always the same. Now that you see and understand that the little marks or fractions between any two numbers are the same, let's take a closer look. And here we have uh, a representation of how many, how much is this? And you'll see that the blue line here is starts at zero and terminates at the half so this is one half inch long we take a look at uh, this blue line here take a look at it pause and uh, ask yourself how long is that you have a couple of ways that you could solve this you could look at it and say okay well this distance right here is one eighth and so that's another eighth so that's two eighths total and that's a three eighths four-eighths, five-eighths, six-eighths, and six-eighths could be correct, however six-eighths can be reduced to three-quarters. So you will see here that we have three-quarters, and it's not just three-quarters, it's three-quarter inches. So you have to tell what the three-quarters, what the number actually means. So here, how long is the blue line? Well, it is one, two, three, and these particular marks are eights. You know they're eights because there are eight of them between the zero and the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight of those. So this happens to be three eighths of an inch. How long is the red line? And you take a look at that and you see, okay, you could say, well, there's eight eights and there's nine eights and nine-eighths inches is correct, but that's an improper fraction, so it would be one and one-eighth inches. How long is the blue line? It's one-eighth inch long. Is the blue line four-eighths of an inch long? Yes, it is. It's also two-fourths, and it's also one-half inches long. How long is the blue line? Six eighths or three quarters inches. What's the measurement? Well, you would take a look here. This is two, and we have one eighth, two eighths, three eighths. So the measure is two and three eighths inches. What's the measurement? two and three quarters inches. What's the measurement? Two and one eighth inches. What's the measurement? Three and one eighth inches. What is the measurement? Two and let's see one two three four five eighths 
2 and 5 eighths inches. Now you should understand that between each one of the whole numbers here, between the 2 and the 3, you have these little marks and those little marks are called fractions and each one represents in this case 1 eighth of an inch. Sometimes the ruler is divided into sixteenths and that is there are sixteen little marks between the 0 and the 1 and so you see here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 that would be 8 sixteenths, same thing as 1 half, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this would be 1 sixteenth. And 1 sixteenth happens to be 1 half of an eighth. You should know and understand that the two little marks between any two whole numbers on the ruler of the tape measure are the same. Your comments, questions, and suggestions are welcome, encouraged, and always appreciated. You may contact me at... Alan Morris at yahoo.com